Hey everybody, welcome back to Thinking Jigger Thursday. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you what these goofy looking players are for. We'll take a sneak peek at next week's mystery tool. And then as an added bonus, we got a couple old school mechanical drills here for you. We'll go over. All right, so first up, here's last week's tool. Had uh, one correct guess, so good job there, uh, Rob Bacon. Uh, these are not actual name brand. So the tool itself is a tire chain tool. It uh, seems like we've had a ton of tire chain or just chain tool uh, players in general so far over the last couple of months. Uh, but this appears to be a knockoff, but it's a St. Perry uh, tire chain tool knockoff. And uh, I'll give you a quick demonstration here. I did fiddle with it just for a few minutes to uh, make sure I knew how to work them. Uh, you got to remember, you know, when, uh, you know, over the course of the last hundred years or so, Tires, the rubber compounds, the treads, the siping, all of that stuff has really advanced. So tire chains don't get used a whole lot like they used to. I know when I was a kid, my old man had a Ford Ranger two wheel drive, you know, real light in the rear end. He put the, like this 500 pound concrete block back there and used tire chains and he would almost never get stuck. Uh, you know, same road I live on today. Uh, and we used to have a lot more snow back then. But anyway, onto the pliers. So uh, it took me a few minutes. Uh, I'll, th I'll throw a quick picture up here. Uh, I found the patent number and looked everything up for the original St. Perry model. Uh, but this one doesn't have that imprint here, the forging of the, you know, the stamp imprint, casting, you know, the, the original markings. So it's obviously a knockoff. The original ones were patented in 1928. And these were probably, if I had to guess, uh, probably in the 40s. The casting is kind of sloppy. You see this, you know, the extra cast marks. It wasn't really cleaned up all that well, uh, but they'll do, they work. I just tried them. It, so according to the patent diagram, uh, it was really one of the, the rougher diagrams I've ever tried to read through. And it's, it's not very clear. Um, I'll, I'll throw a photo of that up here too. I was having a really tough time deciphering how they're supposed to be used. And there's obviously no other videos anywhere on it. Uh, but anyway, I was able to kind of figure it out. So, all right, so I got this length of tire chain here. And I know we've gone over other types of tire chain players, so I'll show you how this one works. But sometimes you would have to adjust your cross links up and down the side chains, make them longer, shorter, readjust, or something breaks, whatever. So this little S hook right here is the one that you would have to manipulate. That's where these players come into play. So this center piece here is what splits the link and you're opening up this section right here. So you stick your pliers in there, squeeze down on it, good and hard, get it opened wide up. Okay, now your link can come undone like so. You would adjust up or down, put it back together. And it, this is the one that kind of threw me off. Like, what are these other ones for? You're not splitting anything with these tall ones here, but and why are they sharp, right? Well, here's why. You can reach right in there and grab on to those two pieces there together and squeeze them back together, just like that. So now it can't come apart again. So that's it, some old school tire chain pliers. Good. All right, now we'll take a quick sneak peek at next week's tool. This one's kind of goofy looking here huge wide open jaws and that's as far as they close right there there is a name brand on this one so i'll uh, save that for next week Got this little pry bar end on it they do open up pretty far so if you got any guesses on what them buggers are used for go ahead and throw it in the comment section and we will go over that next week All right, so for the bonus content today, I just happened to run across these in the past couple months going to different garage sales, estate sales. This one here, this is an old uh, Yankee number 75. Let's see if, we... oh, Yankee number 75 made by North Bros, North Brothers. Push drill. So yeah, it actually opens up pretty long. Let's see here, 24, almost so 16 inches up to 24 inches. It is a ratcheting bi-directional, so you can push it one way. Let's get that hand or uh, chuck lock down. There we go. Or we can go the other way, reverse direction. 
or you can lock it in place to where it uh, spins both directions. So pretty cool there, old, hand uh, old school hand tool. I'm having trouble with this bit and I don't know, I'm not familiar with these style bits. You can see what that looks like there and I'm not familiar with these chucks or these bits and it doesn't seem like it wants to go in right. I did take it apart, I've looked a couple videos up, but it just doesn't wanna stay centered every time I chuck it. So if anybody out there's got any suggestions for me here, lock that down. I mean, that's, that's close to center, but not quite. But uh, anyway, just kind of cool to keep these around, you know. Uh, odds of anything crazy happening are pretty slim, but you never know. Okay, and this other one here, this is a Stanley Yankee number 41Y. And uh, this one's apparently still made to this day and you can get replacement uh, bits for it and everything. It's only for drilling, um, usually for smaller holes, but it only spins to the right. Uh, the cool thing about this one is it keeps the bits in the handle, which I know lots of these older unique stuff did. So I'll pull out one of the uh, straight fluted bits. We'll just give it a quick try here. Obviously a straight fluted bit is gonna be significantly slower than a uh, spiral fluted bit. So let's try one of those. Oh yeah, geez, huge difference. You can see why these things used the straight fluted bits. And that's our bit storage. So yeah, I just thought I'd share these unique older tools. Well, this one's older. This one's obviously still available. And uh, our 1920s era chain, tire chain pliers and then next week's mystery tool. All right, well, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for stopping by. Please hit them like and subscribe buttons. Have a great weekend. We will see you next Thursday.